Just letting you guys know, you can check out my No Bleeps podcast wherever you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Soul Sage. So today we are talking about Mr. Beast and we never talk about Mr. Beast. I've mentioned him in a couple tea caps, but this is the first time that anybody has really ever given Mr. Beast some serious backlash on something. There's been times where people thought like some of the things that he's done were kind of scammy, but this time he's getting a ton of backlash for recreating Squid Game in real life. Let's get into everything that has people upset. So obviously, if you guys have been living under a rock, then you might not know, but literally every YouTuber has tried to do some version of a Squid Game something. Even on TikTok, there's a ton of people that have been trying to do things from the show on social media. Like it's a major show. And Mr. Beast was like, I'm for sure doing Squid Game in real life. It's very on par for Mr. Beast channel videos to give money away. And it seemed like something that was very aligned with his channel. So he wanted to recreate the show, which people had a major problem with because essentially the point of the show is that rich people are entertained by people in debt or people that need money, desperately trying to get money and they're willing to to do anything in order to get that money. Like this is a very depressing show, honestly. Like it was good, but very depressing. And people felt as though Mr. Beast was missing the entire point of the show by trying to recreate the show and that he was essentially doing the same thing as the rich people on the show by having people try to win money from him. Now, back in October, Mr. Beast did announce that he was going to be doing all of this and he said it was going to be taking some time because he wanted to make sure that these sets were amazing. He tweeted out, I'm going to go all out on this IRL Squid Game video. Give me a month to gather 456 random people and recreate all the sets. He later tweeted out, I'm inviting 100 random people that buy this hoodie slash shirt to compete in my recreation of Squid Game, only available for 48 hours at shopmrbeast.com. So he was giving people the opportunity to, if you bought his merch, possibly be in his Squid Game. I don't know where he was going to be getting any of the other people. A lot of people that have been replying to him have been saying that he should be allowing just like regular people to be in this and not influencers or anybody that already has money. But then there's also backlash with that where people are like, him having just regular people in this video is just like the show and that's just so bad because he's essentially doing exactly like what the show is and he's having people that need money do crazy things in order for them to have a chance to win money and when i tell you people were even more upset once they found out how much money it was going to take to actually recreate sets from the show he said we are doing this drop because our squid game video is looking like it will cost over two million dollars easily our most expensive video and i need help paying for it all the money we make will go towards the video people were literally like you should have just given that two million dollars to charity you're too rich you should just give that away instead and when i tell you guys these two million dollar sets look incredible they look incredible and they better because two million dollars is a lot of money A YouTuber named Michael Beam posted a whole video titled I Built Mr. Beast's Squid Game and showed the process of making the um. doll, like recreating the doll from the show from the red light, green light. Two days ago, I got a phone call from Mr. Beast asking if I could help him create Squid Games in real life for his video. You're recreating all six games. Going to be insane. Arguably our biggest video ever. Dude, I heard about that. That's going to be so cool. How can I help? Well, my problem is we realized it's going to cost over $2 million. And building it is extremely difficult. Be careful. We're risking breaking this thing right now. So I agreed to help Mr. Mr. Beast out and build him the giant robot doll from Squid Game. And gave a behind the scenes of all the other sets and how they're coming along. And it's just really insane how much detail is going into this and like how hard everyone has worked for it. Yo, that's actually really cool. Okay, I did not think you were gonna do that. Wait, what, what if you go red light, green light? Really? <laughs> Yo, I thought that was gonna turn it up. Yo, wait, what? Yeah, that's Hi. what we do. It looks just like the show so much so that literally people think he is going to be sued by Netflix because of how identical these sets look. And I'm sure if you have $2 million in your budget to make a YouTube video, you definitely have money on the side to have your lawyer check everything out and make sure that you're not going to get sued for anything. I feel like he did everything very exact 
up until a point because if he probably got everything like down to a T, he might actually get sued. And I'm sure the games are going to be very different, okay? Like he can't actually hurt people, which I will say, you guys, I saw so many comments of people actually being like, wait, are people going to get hurt doing this? People genuinely thought that Mr. Beast was going to end lives doing this. Someone was like, I know it's a dumb question, but like, are you going to end lives? Like, what? This man is not going to jail for a YouTube video. That's, oh my goodness. And I know those people were not joking because they would preface it by saying, I know this sounds dumb, but like, oh my goodness. But somebody commented under the video of him showing off how the sets are coming along. And they said, you were actually ridiculous. How much did the total project cost? And he said around $2 million to build and produce and $1.5 million in prizes which upset people because they were just like, you spent way more money than you're going to give away. You would have had way more prizes to give away if you had just decided to have a cheaper set. I mean, it's a lot, you guys. There is a lot of opinions flying around on this. On Twitter, some more of the comments were, damn, you sure spent a lot of money to completely miss the point of the show, LOL. When the show criticizes the exact thing you're doing and the message is completely lost on you. When the concept of the show is lost on you. You know that TV show about a game where desperate people themselves for the chance of winning money? Tell us about how sadistic the rich can be and how the working class is just entertainment for them? Let's do that in real life. Don't worry, nobody, so it's okay. Mr. Beast, I'm sorry, but this does not pass the vibe check. Capitalism like this is exactly what the show is critiquing. People did start to defend him though by saying things like all the people talking about how Mr. Beast could have just distributed the money to poor people. Do y'all not realize that following trends equals more views, equals more revenue, equals more money to give away? People are more likely to click a real life Squid Game video than some philanthropy video, lol. What you didn't understand is that he's not literally recreating the show. He just wants to make a fun game where the winner earns money. That's it. Why is everyone so serious about this? Why can't everybody just smile and be positive about something for once, just even once? It would help the world so much. It's a video idea. The show got popular. He can do whatever he wants with it. Everybody is so sensitive these days. Someone tweeted out, D did you not understand the meaning of the show at all? Or, and someone replied saying, it's a trending thing, trending. More people want to watch the video, more ad revenue, more money to give out. I will say that there's just so many Mr. Beast videos that remind me of what he's trying to do here with Squid Game. Please put your right hand on this cash. Dead serious. Last one of you to take your hand off this million dollar stack of cash keeps it. I don't care if it takes an hour, day, week, month, year. I don't care if it takes a decade. The last one of your hands to come off this million dollars keeps it. As you can see, you have a clear view of all their hands. So if you lift it up, that bad boy will pick it up. And we also have an in-person referee. Like there are so many times where he is giving out money to people that want whatever he is willing to offer. And they will do literally what it takes to get that money and they compete against other people. And you know, I'm talking about videos like last to take hand off a million dollars keeps it. Last to leave toilet wins a million dollars. Last to leave $800,000 island keeps it. Last to leave circle wins $500,000. And Mr. Beast isn't the only person that has ever done something like this. There are videos on Ken and JC's channel where they're like, last to leave the box wins X, Y, and Z amount of money. Hey, we're back with the most famous video we've ever done ever. They've done that multiple times as well. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? You literally put the door closed and you're like. <laughs> it officially has started. Let the games begin. It is 1121 exactly. But I think that people are looking at this differently because of the fact that the show was trying to say like, it's pretty effed up how the rich are just looking at people that need money and are like, hmm, it's pretty entertaining to see how desperate they are for this money. And there's just so many opinions about whether or not people think it's like messed up for him to try and do the same thing, even though the message of that show was basically like that it's effed up. I definitely want to know what you guys think because there are a lot of different thoughts on what's going on and he's getting called out a ton. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, my God.